70 years in prison for a Lubbock man found guilty of spitting at Lubbock police. A jury handed that verdict down to this man, 36 year old Larry Pearson today. He was found guilty on two counts of harassment of a public servant for spitting at the officers. Pearson was arrested in May 2022 for a domestic violence incident. As he was being taken to jail, Pearson started kicking the doors of the officer's vehicle. When an officer opened the door to tell him to stop, Pearson spit at both of them and continued spitting at them until he got to jail. Pearson also had prior convictions of aggravated robbery and continuous family violence. Due to those convictions, the minimum sentence Pearson could have received would have been 25 years. Yo, 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 it's Big Ant the Spokesman, man. We back another edition of Urban Politicians TV, UPTV. Make sure you stay on your pivot at all times, man. Had to come tap in on this news story of Larry Pearson out of Lubbock, Texas, as you just heard, receiving 70 years from the judge out there over a domestic violence case and spitting on the laws and everything like that. And for you niggas that's lost out here, this one I'm telling y'all, they gonna play their roles on how it go. And I'm adding links in the description where you can watch that in full at and get into the write up in just a second because there's some key things that got overlooked and not put in that video clip right there. And my nigga Pook sent me this story. So I said, oh, we got to address this bullshit and we most definitely gonna address it some more on Monday on Studio 56 podcast. Now what y'all don't get right here, bro, 70 years, that nigga 36, Basically, they said, we're going to double your life up, nigga. We're giving you more time on this earth than you done been alive and ain't nobody dead. For you stupid-ass niggas who like to say racism ain't real, it ain't no system, they letting laws walk away with far less for killing niggas, bro. We just seen it time and time again. They sentenced this nigga like he went and shot up a church, like he did some dead and room type shit. That's life in prison, my nigga. That's ridiculous. It should never, they need to readjust these old laws. Now, true, I'm not condoning nobody beating on no women. What he accused of? Hey, spitting on niggas is a disgrace, and that's all out of line, my nigga. You deserve to get your ass beat if you spit on somebody, for sure. But sending a nigga to prison for 70 years? Hell nah. They should have did a psychiatric evaluation on this nigga or something. Yes, he's a repeat offender. He's out here fucking up from what they say. I only know off of that. But I'm going to tell you like this. We just see niggas get a lot less time from they side than this. Carolina. Sentenced to 20 years in prison for shooting an unarmed black motorist to death in 2015. I was surprised by the news out of South Carolina this morning. Uh, Walter Scott. After Mr. Scott lay dying on the ground, the officer picked up a stun gun, a gun he claimed that Mr. Scott tried to grab during a struggle and he walked more than 30 feet and put the stun gun by Mr. Scott's hand. The only problem was that all of it was caught on videotape. Officer Slager went to trial in South Carolina and he told a jury, don't believe what you see on the videotape. Believe me when I say I was afraid of him, even though he was running away from me. Believe me when I say I was just defending myself. And that jury hung. Some of those jurors were willing to believe him and ignore the videotape. In my mind, fear. The nigga that killed George Floyd choked the man out, suffocated the nigga. Yes, the nigga knee was on the nigga neck. Nigga, whether it was on his neck or not, the nigga said he couldn't breathe, my nigga. That ain't police protocol. We see time and time again where these people go kill niggas, do things to niggas, oh well. It is what it is. And this stupid niggas gonna come out here and say, oh man, well, we doing it to each other. Yes, but we ain't doing it to each other because of our skin color, you dumbass niggas. It's getting done to each other because we don't have cultural identity, the lack of resources, and our broken cycle that we have fell under through systematic oppression from these crackers, nigga. And look what type of control they got over. You know what, nigga? Your life ain't worth shit. We're gonna give you 70 years, nigga. You ain't even hit 40 yet, nigga. But go ahead and enjoy this 70. Nigga, if that stick, nigga, he got to do at least 35 on that. So he ain't 70 till he come home, bare minimum, nigga. Nah, this shit ain't how the game supposed to go. Now, you do got to take responsibility for what the hell you did, but they know this ain't 70 years. And this is why I'm saying this on this key piece right here at the end of the write-up. But here we go. A Texas man was sentenced to 70 years in prison Wednesday after he was found guilty of harassing a public servant for spitting at Lubbock police officers. Larry Pearson, 36, was arrested in May 
2022 for domestic violence after a victim flagged down an officer in Northeast Lubbock, prosecutor Jessica Gorman said. The victim told police that Pearson had hit her several times and that he had a gun. Gorman said that firearm turned out to be an airsoft gun, keyword airsoft gun. A police report at the time stated the victim had multiple visible injuries on her face. Gorman said after Pearson was taken in custody, he was upset that the victim was not arrested instead. So he was spitting and everything like that and wouldn't stop spitting at the laws and tripping. But they said during the closing arguments of the sentencing phase of Pearson's trial, the prosecutor asked the jury to consider a number that would send a message to Pearson and society. She said Pearson had prior convictions of aggravated robbery and continuous family violence. You're not going to get 70 years for something like this when you've never been in trouble before, Gorman told Nexter's KLBK KAMC. I don't care what type of trouble you've been in, nigga. You ain't took no life. Yeah, you out there tripping. You doing domestic violence, aggravated robbery. You got to take your lick when they see you lying there. But nigga, giving a nigga 70? Nah, we not going to do that. It's too many of them walking around in this case. Shout out to Meek Mill. I see something online. He reacted and had something to say like this. Shout out to Meek for using this platform. And I know you niggas going to come off again. Ah, right, man. Y'all niggas looking for excuses. Y'all making excuses. No, nigga. We getting examples directly in our face. These laws shoot niggas in the back and they walking. These laws is killing niggas and found guilty getting 30 years, 25 years with the chance of parole and shit like that. And niggas getting jammed up. We just see niggas rape and kidnap women on they side of the spectrum come home early, nigga. Don't even get this type of time. Nah, nigga, we ain't finna do that. But this uh, this Texas, a nigga from Texas, I know how I go. I don't fuck around in them little towns like that there. Unless I'm finna go grab, do some business for da 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 and I'm getting the hell on, nigga. But we ain't breaking no laws because we know they looking to hang a nigga. We in the side, nigga. They still wish they could hang niggas. I keep telling y'all segregation only ended 59 years ago, nigga. Slavery 159 years ago. Nothing more is enjoyable to them than locking niggas up. The second part of the slavery system, once the first slavery got abolished, now we can lease these niggas out in these jail cells and these prisons. 70 years of prison labor and time, nigga. As I told y'all before, it's a trap. Don't fall for the biggest trap, nigga. Being bored in the trap, then diving head first in that water, which is the biggest trap because they looking to trap you inside of a prison cell where they can make the bread per head that they can put inside the bed. Government money, government spending. All of us is looked at as dollar increments for these people, man. It is what it is. He got to wear what he did on the accountability side for what he did, but that sentence ain't supposed to go like that, nigga. And you shouldn't be beating no women. Tell me what y'all think. We got more shit coming, more videos, all that. 1,000 for shit show. Stay on your pivot.